All right, today I'm going to show you how to do a multi-screen or split screen effect similar to what you see happening on the screen here where we've got something coming in from the side and then something coming in from the bottom and it creates like a multi-screen. I'm also going to show you how I added this little black bar on here as well. Okay, so here's the three videos that I'm working with. And so in this case, I want this video to say play until it gets to right about here. And when it gets to this point is where that next one's going to come in. So first thing I want to do is I want to add a keyframe to let it know that that's the position that it wants to stay in until. This next video here, this is the one that I want come to come in from the right. So I've got it showing and I want to do a couple things to it really quick first. So I'm going to decrease the size just a bit so you can see and I'm going to go over to my effects panel and I'm going to add a shadow. So I want Resolve FX, Resolve FX Styles, Drop Shadow. And you can just drag and drop that onto it. And you can see already I've got a little bit of a drop shadow. And now in my inspector, I'm gonna go over to the effects and the shadow effects. So a couple of things I wanna do is I wanna make that much darker. And I wanna get rid of the blur. I want it to be a solid line. And now I want it to, of course, be on the left here. So I'm just gonna change the angle so that that way it's over to the left. And as you can see, it's on the left and I can adjust the distance a little bit as well. And I'm going to do that as well. Just make it a little bit narrower. Okay. So that's the shadow where I want it. So I'm going to raise the size back up to normal. I haven't moved the playhead because I want that keyframe to match. So at this point, this one's still going to be off screen. And so I'm going to move it off to the right. I'm just mousing over and dragging to the right so until it gets off the screen. I'm going to add a keyframe so that it knows to stay off screen in the same way that this knows to stay on screen. I'm going to move my playhead just a bit farther forward and uh, to where I want that both to be on there. Now what I'm going to do is on the video, I'm just going to mouse over again and change that position to where it's about halfway through, which is where I want it. I'm going to click on the other video and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to change the position so that this is over to the left where I want it. So you can see if we hit play here. We get that to slide in. Now it's pretty slow, so you can actually adjust this. I'm going to click here where it's got this little square and you can see it where those keyframes are. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other video. Let's make, give myself a little bit more space and click on that. And I want to just zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to click on them and drag and drop them over to the left a little bit. So that way that happens a little bit quicker. It's not quite as slow of a transition from one to the other. Yeah, a little bit better, maybe even a bit more. Okay. So you get the point. Now I want to do that one where it comes up in the corner. Okay, I'm going to take my third video. And I'm going to drag and drop that video as well. Let's zoom back out. There we go. So I want this to play a little bit before that next one comes in. So that's probably about the right amount of time and I'm gonna have it come into there. So I'm going to add a shadow in the same way that I did before. Drag and drop it onto the timeline. I need to reduce the size a little bit so I can see where the shadow is. And let's do my strength. Let's get rid of the blur. And let's change the angle. And let's reduce the distance just a little bit. Okay. I'm happy with that. Let's put this back up to one. Now, at this point, I want it off screen. So I'm just gonna take my position and I'm gonna drag it off the screen out of the way. Okay, and I'm gonna hit keyframe so that way it knows that's where it's starting. And I'm gonna move it, the playhead just a bit farther forward to where I want it to come in. And I'm going to adjust that position. And 
and that's where I want it. Okay, so let's see what happens when I hit play here. He's singing, comes in from the right, perfect. And then we get the other one down there at the bottom. And that's pretty much it. That's how I did that nifty little multi-frame effect where uh, you've probably seen it in show openings of TV series and that kind of stuff.